What's going on, family? Welcome back to another Real Talk as we off top give the Most High Yahuwah all the honor, the glory, and all praise and worship. What do I think about the NBA players, basketball players? Uh, my little two cents on that. Um, this is a video response back to you, uh, Sister Shelley. Um, I'm, I'm going to do this video this kind of way. Um, because coming from the hood, I understand a lot growing up in the hood. Um, when you grow up struggling, and I'm going to tie all this in together, seeing your mom work, 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 work. And let, let's keep it real in this video. Um, nine times out of ten, a lot of these um, young men grew up without their daddy. Okay, I'm not. I'm not saying it to be disrespectful in no kind of way. Just facts. If you had your daddy with you growing up, that's a blessing. If he was there and was doing right and was teaching and, and you know training you, showing you how to be a man, that's a blessing. But in the hood, a lot of young men turning and selling dope or getting hooked on dope, in and out of prison or joining gangs. So, when their dad is not around, I'm going to get you to my point in a minute. <laughs> they see mama, mama, mama. That's all they see, and probably grandmother. Or if they had a some type of big brother or father figure around, somebody that was like staying in the, stepping in the place as a father, that was a blessing. But when it's just mama, 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 they go is to get their mama out the hood. Think about it. What's the most first thing uh, most of them do when they make it? They buy their mama a house or buy their mama a car. Think about this. How many times do you really see a lot of NBA players that made it? It, it, it ain't just the NBA. You could be whatever, football player or movie star, whatever. But think about how many of them actually get on camera and say, I thank my dad. You rarely see that. And I mean rarely. If it wasn't for my dad, it's always shout out to my mom. Love you, mom. I rarely hear. I mean, rarely. I'm not saying it's not happened. I'm saying I've never really heard too many people give a shout out to their daddy. Now, why are you saying that, JT? Once again, when they make it, they don't want to see it. They don't see so many was on Section 8 government assistance, food stamps, you name it, et cetera, et cetera. So when they make it, they get mama out the hood. They want mama to have a better life. And when they see these young men coming, let's talk about the NBA for a moment. They see ching, 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 dollar sign. Now let me ask y'all a question in this video. Who you think really making most of the money, the NBA players are the ones that sign their checks. Yeah, you can make you can make you some. Yeah, you can get them endorsements. Now, if you look at the NBA now, a whole lot of what you see now ain't like it was back then. Cause see now you see a huge image now, the image of everybody got to be tatted up. And I'm not knocking what you do, what you do is what you do. I'm just stating facts. But you remember when it was, it was back in the day, man, they didn't care nothing for wearing all these, getting all these tattoos and, and you know, they, they, they really cared about the game. They cried, man, when they lost. They, I mean, even the referee, they, they used to let them play, man. Now the fouls that they, man, they call foul you now just for jumping up in the air. It, it's kind of like wrestling, man. Wrestling ain't nothing but a soap opera to me now. That's why I don't look at it no more. But, these guys, man, keep getting in, a lot of them. I'm not talking about all of them, but a lot of them keep getting into trouble, man. They lose their endorsements. So you got to think about this. When they come out of the hood, nobody has really taught them how to be a good steward. So they never really learned how to manage money. So the first thing they do when they get that money is they blow that money. I'm going to tell you something I heard the other day, uh, Marlon Wayne's. 
Big shout out to you, Martin and Wayne. Y'all know the Wayne's family. Um, Keen and I, Rishon, uh, Martin, that's a lot of them, the sister Kim. Shout out to all the Wayne's family. They was interviewing uh, Martin, and they asked Martin, how many vehicles did he have? He said, only two. The Range Rover he had in, in the old school. He said he don't waste all his money on all that stuff like a lot of people do. He said, he, he said, I can't drive but one car at a time. And of course, they paid for. And he said, that's the way he lived, simple. And that's a beautiful way to live because really, think about it. You can't take none of this stuff when you leave. Man, you see these guys, man, not, like I said, it's not just the NBA players. You see these rappers and movie stars, so many people, they just blow money, blow money, blow money. $400,000 parties. You know, blowing money, blowing money, clothes, jewelry, you name it, et cetera, et cetera. And then next thing you know, they broke. They didn't invest in nothing. They didn't really put nothing back. They just blowed it. That's what I like about Shaquille O'Neal now. Shaq, Shaq will tell you when he started out how he just blew money. But then he learned his lesson. Now look at Shaq. That's why I say it's a different category when you say rich versus wealthy. I remember that was um, old Chris Rock made that, that joke in one of his old stand-ups. He said, don't get me wrong, Oprah is rich. Very rich. He said, but Bill Gates is wealthy. He was comparing Oprah against Bill Gates. And he said, if, if Bill Gates had to wake up with Oprah's money, he would probably slice his throat. Because that's a whole nother category. You're talking about old money. Old money, old money. And you know one thing about Bill Gates, he keep investing. So when I look at the NBA, the National Basketball Association, when I look at the lead in the general, I still see our brothers and that's out here, man, being used as puppets. I ain't going to lie. I see a lot going wrong. I see I see how a lot of them still just, just they using them to make that, the real money off of them. Like I was just saying, I bet you they won't trade checks with the one that signed their checks. But like I say, you can make enough and you can live good off of it, but you got to realize who's really wealthy and who is rich. And, that, and I'm going to take it on a whole other level. You see these spirits flowing in the NBA. That's what you see. That's why everybody trying to look alike, trying to dress alike, trying to get the tattoos alike. That's the image and spirits coming behind that. Nobody want to really tell the truth on that, but I will. You don't have to agree with me. I know what time it is out there and know what time it's been out here. And that's why you see a lot of them, they, they follow that same pattern of getting in the same trouble. Because when they party, 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 they get drunk. Some of them start shooting. Next thing you know, somebody dead. And next thing you know, somebody locked up. Or next thing you know, somebody done lost their endorsements again. Because they really just can't handle the pressure and, and the, the success, the fame. And it, it's a difference to me between the fortune and the fame. Because like I said about the rappers, they'll give them the fame but not the fortune. Somebody catch that later. And I'll leave on that note. Shalom.